hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is hannah renee and this is alec renee and it's so nice to meet you today we're going to be doing a three month our three month is tomorrow married couple question and answer video so i asked you to ask me questions on instagram and I got a few, but the rest of them we're gonna be getting from Pinterest. So we're gonna get started. So without further ado, let's just jump right on in to this video. First one, and the easiest one I think out of this whole thing, is are we planning on having kids? Uh... No. I should get <laughs> I'm just so, kidding. <laughs> I mean, we were planning on having kids, but we want to wait for sure. For our relationship, we think it's a good idea to just wait a couple years just to kind of learn to live together, learn to be a married couple, and then we'll talk about it from there. Then. How many years that is? And I'm still in school, so I want to finish that first. That's important. Because I had tried to be a... Uh, a student, student and a mama. mama. A student mom. <laughs> Does being married get better with time? This is, I can't really say that this for is sure. This like a hard question. Like, because it's only been three months. Yeah. So I guess, yeah. Like people tell you that marriage, like the first year of marriage is like the hardest. Like it's just, you learn so much and like there's a lot of growing between like you two. But I feel like for us, we've been together for so long that like we've kind of gone through a lot of the learning how we work and learning how we process things. The biggest, I think, hurdle has been like learning like financially, I guess, like how we handle money because we both handle it differently. I imagine like just this three months, it's gotten better and better. Like it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Like we've been like, there's parts of it that have been extremely different, but then there's parts of it that haven't been different at all because it's still like just our, relationship dynamic like we just have a lot of fun and we're almost like weirder than we were before like we do just weird things all the time this kind of leads us into the next question so i'm just going to say the next question and it's what's something you didn't expect to happen when you're living together <laughs> does that make sense <laughs> i mean yeah well i have some tea you ready? So. If you're gonna blast me, I'm gonna blast you back here in a minute. So be well, careful. I didn't be expect. Be careful. <laughs> I didn't expect that he would shed so much hair in every room, on every possession, on every item of clothing that we own. And I know the difference because sometimes it's short stubby hairs from his beard and sometimes it's long curly hairs from his head. And I see them everywhere. They're everywhere. Yes. Like that's normal. <laughs> like hair falls out. But what she doesn't like mention is that she sheds probably as much as I do. It's just blonde and it's harder to see. So her shedding is totally fine. But mine is but you don't not ever okay about mine. Be... So, do, do you want me to complain about yours? <laughs> <laughs> I can complain about it if you want me to, but I just think it's a double standard. Like she sheds all the time, and she gets mad at me for doing it. It's like Anna has a tendency to leave tissues everywhere. Like she she has bad allergies, and we live in an area where there's a lot of allergies, so she struggles with that <laughs> but she has a tendency to leave her tissues everywhere it's because i wasn't ready to, to get up and clean that area <laughs> yet that's probably but info that no one wanted no one life. wants it but we're just going to talk about things we didn't expect you know i didn't expect to be cleaning up tissues all the time you don't clean them up <laughs> i do i'm gonna make you do that i've cleaned them up they i've done it i have done it well you didn't have to I just tell me in the it. i'll get it Another thing that I didn't expect about living together is that our morning and night routines are very different. And Alex's morning routine, because he works at a coffee shop, he just gets up 30 minutes before he has to leave, gets ready and leaves. Uh, 30 minutes is being generous. I get up like 
10 minutes okay. before uh, I brush my teeth, change, grab some food, and I'm out the door. <laughs> Bare minimum. I have no idea because I'm sleeping through that whole thing. That's but my morning routine, I like to have like two hours before I have to go somewhere because I like to have a slow morning and that's important to me. However, at night, Alec likes to stay up till dawn. I'm just kidding, but like he likes to stay up and watch TV or something. And I like to go to bed at like 11 or 1030 because I like to wake up early to have my slow morning. So it's just very different. It's not what I expected. I expected us to have the same night and morning routine. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do a speed round. Speed round. Yes, speed around time. These are questions I found from Pinterest. First question, who takes the longest to get ready? Are you? <laughs> you're kidding me. I'm just kidding, it's me. It's okay. 100% you. Who has the best sense of style? <laughs> Definitely me. I work at a clothing store. Look at my style right now. You just have a green sweater. I have a lazy day, okay? <laughs> Leave me alone. Who does the dishes the most? Mm. I feel like that's 50-50. Yeah, it's close. I think I say you because you usually do them in the mornings when I'm not here, but I usually will do them after dinner, which usually are fewer. So I guess it's so just, me. it just, I, it kind of depends, but it's pretty close. Who does the laundry the most? I would say Alex. Oh, really? <laughs> I think I do. feel like okay, so we actually don't have we don't have a washer dryer right now, so we take it all to her parents. And I feel like every day I get a text message saying, "Hey, there's laundry at my parents. Can you grab it?" You probably you spend more time folding it. I do all of the travel back and forth, I think. So, I guess 50/50 again. I was going to say you, but okay. Who's more likely to eat dessert before the meal? 100%. <laughs> I like That's chocolate. not even a question. Who's more likely to lose their keys or wallet? <laughs> That's me. 100%. So you. Or lock myself out of the house. <laughs> Probably. I've done that multiple times. Who has the better jokes? No, I do. Mm. I have funny jokes. I do it. You have better catchphrases. She has like random catchphrases she uses all the time. Only my closest homies know. <laughs> if you know, you know. I'm just kidding. Who's messier? Mm, probably me. She does a better job of cleaning deeply. I do a better job of like quickly tidying. Like I just like make things look good. But I also get, I have a habit of leaving clothes everywhere. Um, but you have a habit of leaving like dishes out overnight or like out on the table. So it's like, it's a give and take as well with that one, but I would probably say I'm a little more messy. Who's more dramatic? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who's more stubborn? Good, yeah. glad we agree. Who's more forgetful? Me. <gasps> I would say me. I think I'm forgetful. Depends what, I guess. He doesn't listen to what I say, so. That's not true. I listen, but when she tries to bring it up, I don't recall the conversation immediately. I have to be reminded of it. Who is more needy when they're sick? Since I'm the most dramatic, I feel like I'm dying currently right now. <laughs> With this congested nose that I have going on. Whose car is the cleanest? Oh my gosh. Just so, clean your car. I feel like I have to justify everything. No, you don't. I have to justify. Most of the stuff in my car is like water bottles or like plastic cups or cups that belong in here. And all of that is from my morning commutes. I take food in the morning and then I leave it all in my car and I just never bring it back up. Who do you love the most? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's not true. 
You have to answer it too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this question wasn't just for me. I thought it was funny, so I put that one in there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos with Alec, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let us know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me. Or me, I guess. Or him. Because <laughs> I... Well, because we would love to do them for you. I was thinking of doing a husband picks my outfits for a week video. So let me know if that's something you're interested in. And I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye, guys.